On Saturday, we finally see the return of Floyd Money Mayweather. For some reason, he has coined himself that nickname. Uh, we always liked the previous one. However, we have Robert Axel, the editor in chief of boxing.com. Robert, great to talk to you once again. Now, this fight is Saturday on Showtime pay per view. Of course, that is one of the many changes that Floyd Mayweather has made since he has uh, been out of jail. He served time for. Uh, domestic abuse and well I guess we should just start there since I brought it up Ruben Guerrero basically caught everyone's attention many people didn't even know who he was until this press conference when he said and I quote you know I don't usually talk shit but 20 seconds later we're gonna beat that woman beater the one that beat up his wife we beat it we're gonna beat him up he beat his wife in front of his kids that's bullshit man he must learn that from his dad we're gonna beat that woman beater Wow Okay, great way to start the press conference, Mr. Ruben Guerrero. So then him and Mayweather Sr., it seems, are going to clash at some point, if not during the fight thereafter. Uh, of course, Robert Guerrero is having uh, legal problems of his own. We'll get to that in a moment. First, start with uh, Ruben Guerrero. What would you make of all that? Boxing at its finest? It was embarrassing. Uh, not to be unex not unexpected, but embarrassing nonetheless. Uh, everybody knows Mayweather's history. Uh, he denies it. Uh, that's neither here nor there, but I mean, it was where you were. It's supposed to be about boxing. It's not supposed to be about uh, extracurricular activities at you know 5:30 a.m. in the morning. He did what he needed to do. He's hoping to get under Mayweather's skin. Did not look like he succeeded. Mayweather was as cool as a cucumber, and uh, the only person that he really uh, embarrassed, in my opinion, was himself. Now, when you say that Mayweather seemed totally unfazed, he, again, this is one of the many changes that people are saying is that, you know, he learned a lot being in solitary confinement for 23 hours a day, obviously having one hour for recreational activities to himself um, and obviously running around. We all know Mayweather's crazy schedule. However, he said that, you know, he, he, was, he was staying composed. He was texting with his girlfriend, so he didn't even pay attention to Ruben Guerrero. Obviously, he heard him, and he said that, you know what, that would have been the Mayweather of old who would have gone and fought with Ruben Guerrero verbally, obviously not physically. So when we talk about Robert Guerrero, as I hinted towards uh, prior to that uh, last question, basically he was at a New York airport and he tried carrying a gun onto the plane. Obviously, he got arrested. It appears that he will serve time. Uh, both of these guys certainly having legal problems, huh, Robert? The Guerrero business is sort of really unresolved. It's not clear that he's going to serve time. He first said he needs to do, have a trial, um, so they can't lock him away yet. Um, but he, you know, the case is still pending. Uh, Guerrero says that it was simply a misunderstanding and it has all been taken care of. Uh, the Queen's District Attorney says, no way. He can say whatever he wants to say, but the case is pending. This case is still on. Um, and unless CBS or some other entity leans on the uh, district attorney, uh, that case is moving forward. It was certainly uh, a terrible decision. I mean, a faulty judgment to say the least. Um, nevertheless, he did it um, for whatever reason. He's, he's a hunter, he's a fisherman, uh, hence he was carrying a handgun in New York. Uh, if you can figure that out, you're a better man than I.